Hello everybody, my name is Alan from CyberLab and today will be another video about Oracle Cloud. The truth that it's not exactly a video about Oracle Cloud, but uh, will be a video about uh, VPNs. In the previous video, I'll show how you can install OpenVPN and how you can install WaringGuard. But then come the question, which one that's the best? I always listen that WaringGuard is fast and that uh, give a better performance for you. But uh, it's really true, I never test it. So, what in this video will do, I will test and compare the results between uh, WaringGuard and OpenVPN. This test will be really simple, will be really fast as well. Basically, I will want to compare what's the speed that I get and what's the pin that I get using the WaringGuard and what's the speed and what's the pin that I use using the OpenVPN. As well, I will test the speed and uh, the pin of my network without any kind of VPN to confirm that we'll have the increase or my network is not getting the bottleneck. Otherwise, I could potentially have a network bottleneck for my house and that's the OpenVPN or the WaringGuard not show the maximum performance that they could show for any case. So if you like this idea and want to learn a little bit more about it, we're gonna show in this video, but first of all, don't forget to leave your like, subscribe for the channel and let's see how to do it. Okay, the idea for this test is to test OpenVPN versus WaringGuard and see what one it's give a better performance. I will not say which one that is more safe because I cannot test it. But only thing that I can tell you, OpenVPN has passed for a few audits and that show that it's safe. I cannot say that WaringGuard is not safe because they use the encryption or crypto pro system and that this crypto system is quite safe. So. I cannot tell you, but what I can test is the speed. So let's go for the base. In a virtual machine, one instance of the Oracle Cloud, I have the OpenVPN install and I have the WaringGuard install. On to be fair, I can show you that exactly the same IP address. I'm using 132.226.209.237 and it's exactly the same, 132.226.209.237. So it's the only difference is the ports that I'm using and the application I'm using, but the virtual machine is exactly the same. So I come here and I will review the virtual machine that I'm using. As I told, this one is exactly the same IP address for my OpenVPN and my WaringGuard, so I can prove it. As well, I'm using a Ampere system where it has two cores, two gigabytes of network and 12 gigabytes of run. My internet, it's only 900 megabytes of upload and download, normally take a little bit less, but as guaranteed it's 500, so it's totally fine. So have this one in mind, I can tell that my network uh, bandwidth will not be a bottleneck and that we're gonna check what could be the bottleneck. Uh, if you really have a bottleneck for the system or maybe the program will be the bottleneck of our configuration. The first step for my test will be test my speed without any VPN. To do it, I will open my speed test. Once that I start my test, I have a pin of 8 milliseconds and my speed is around 720. If you look here, the performance of my download is quite stable. So they get up to the level that I want for my download and keep it stable. If you have some peaks, it will be really bad, but in this case, it's quite stable. The same thing it's measuring for my upload. So I can see that my upload and my download is quite similar. So now I can tell that my pin is 8 milliseconds, I have 746 of download and 701 for upload, so it's totally fine. Now the next step will be to open the OpenVPN and try the speed test. In the OpenVPN I will start my connection and that I know that's connect when the bytes in and out start to show. If you don't appear bytes in or don't appear bytes out, it means that it's not connect properly and you need to review it. So here it's working, so I can open a new speed test and try to see the speed. Once that I open a new speed test, I already have Oracle Cloud as a server and here my IP address. So I can come here and start the test. So now I can test my pins are at the 70 milliseconds and now I can check my download speed. If I look, it's going up and down, but uh, now keep it stable. My average of download is around 87 megabytes, so it's not bad. And let's see my upload. Yes, my upload start quite big, it go down and that's uh, going to be stable again. Let's see what's the end of this result. 
Remember, I'm trying to leave exactly the same serve for both tests for my VPN. Only serve that I use different ones for my initial uh, normal internet, but we're not checking what's the speed for my internet, only compare what's the speed between the VPN. So I have this one set, I have uh, 17 milliseconds of pin, I have uh, I have 84 megabytes of download and 7 megabytes of upload. Now I can come here and disenable my VPN, and now I come here in my wiring guard and enable this activity. Have the wiring guard enabled, I will open a different page for the speed test and I will start my test. Remember, my server for testing will be exactly the same to be fair as well. Otherwise, they will test one server and other server not get the best result. So I come here and put go and let's see what I have. My pin 70 milliseconds, that is great, exactly it that I was expecting because both machines is working exactly the same location. So the pin will be only affect the distance between both. But what I can see initially was high my, my speed and that's drop it. And uh, now that I'm testing my speed of upload, it's exactly the same performance. So they start quite high and drop it. Looking for these results, my warning guard have a 17 milliseconds of uh, latency. I have 88 megabytes of downloads and 153 megabytes of upload. So let's get this data and put in a Excel and that's we're gonna retest it using another provider only to compare it. So now I will go back for my first test where I did my open VPN. I will cancel my warning guard, enable my open VPN. Then I can test it again. So I come here and I will select a different server. Let's get the liver drive internet and I come here and put go. So I can compare two servers and see if I have any difference or the bottleneck will be my warning guard. So now the first thing that I can see, my pin is around 70 milliseconds, exactly the same. And my download speed is a little bit up, but it start up and really going down. Let's see how will be my upload. It's a little bit better. The red uh, start up, but it's going down the same way. I don't know what is going on. Later we can check in the metrics for my machine and see if it's something's getting limit or not. So end up with this value. It means that I end up with 17 milliseconds, 159.03 of download and 86.51 for upload. So now I can come here with my initial test of wiring guard, come here, disenable my connection for VPN, for open VPN, and come here and activate my connection for the wiring guard. I minimize everything and change for the server for exactly the same, leave a drive and I put go test. So now I can test it and uh, the pin as I expect is exactly the same. Let's see if they show exactly the same performance as the OpenVPN. They start high and that will go really down. In this case, they didn't go so much down. So I, I got that my latency will be 17 milliseconds. I have download speed of 175 and upload for 166. If you look for this table, uh, the pin of no VPN, it's a little bit lower. It's because my, inf my information go directly for the server instead of uh, come from my house, go to the server and come back from my house. When I look for the open VPN, have a big difference between the servers. The first one have a little bit low speed and the second one have a little bit high speed, but the same information happened for both. So maybe the server was affecting it. If I look for my download speed for the first server and the second one, I have uh, as a wedding guard a little bit faster, but not so much faster. And uh, the same thing for the upload, a little bit fast, but not something that will really represent the difference. So I cannot tell that the wedding guard, it's really big difference than the open VPN. But let's go to see the metrics for my virtual machine to see what information that I have and if I can understand if my bottleneck was the wiring guard system or maybe the test provider or something else. Let's go back in my instance. And here in my instance, I will come here and my metrics, I will refresh this page and I can see. A few minutes ago, now it's exactly eight o'clock and if I look, my CPU have a little bit of processor but they didn't come for 100%, so I didn't use all my CPU. The same thing I can tell for my run memory, I get only 3%, 4% of my memory. Read and write, I didn't use it at all. If I come here, 
I can see that my network receive and my rack to work sending it's a little bit less here it's all the tests that I did previous I did some tests here and now I did another test for a speed test and all the time they come here so I cannot tell you that this one it's the maximum of speed or, or not because they are only measured for rate if I come here in sum or measure any other thing I cannot tell if it's a uh, maximum if they're getting look like 1 gigabit pass or 2 gigabit pass of my band but what can I say it's my band should not be delimitant so I believe that the limitant for this system is the proper system so you cannot get a really high speed look like 900 megabytes because the true points of the open VPN or true points of the wiring guard will be the program not uh, the system that they're running so either that you want to choose the wiring guard that will be a little bit fast not so much representative fast the open vpn show a good performance as well with a little bit high performance so come for you to decide which one that you want to use so guys i hope that you like this video in this test i'd be surprised because i was expecting that the wiring guard will have two or three times better efficiency than uh, the open vpn but in this test show almost the same so i don't know what is going on but they show really similar results if you like this video and you think that it was interesting don't forget to leave your like subscribe for the channel and see you next time bye